Black Saturday fires significantly impacted the Marysville community and surrounding forest and it killed hundreds of thousands of mountain ash trees in the area around Marysville. Over time, the dead trees have been falling over the road. We've been monitoring this and we know that the, the tree fall has increased and it's posing a significant risk to both emergency workers and visitors to the area. So Lady Talbot Drive has been a really popular tourist spot in the community for over 100 years uh, and we've always had a presence there. However, after the fires, uh, the rate of trees falling increased significantly uh, and the people accessing the area increased as well. So what we're doing is removing hazardous trees up to 100 metres either side of the road and around key visitor sites. And to do that we're using ground-based harvesting machines and a Sikorsky helicopter with a long line. been quite successful so far and uh, we found we're making really good progress with the tool. Attached to a long line which is 150 foot long, a grapple and uh, under the grapple is uh, attached a saw and uh, the goal of all this is to grab the tree as uh, low as we can and uh, to make a cut and uh, to fold the tree outside of the access. It's less footprint by the air like that compared to uh, an excavator. So this project's really important to the SCS for, for a number of reasons. That first one is about seeing the community recover and more people coming back. But the biggest one's about the risk faced by our volunteers when they undertake rescues in the area. So the hazardous tree removal works are nearly complete. Then we'll undertake the works to reinstate the surface and we'd expect the road to be open by the end of the year for visitors to return to the great sites in that area of forest. 